Pelicans are officially back in the sixth spot in the Western Conference with a win over the Blazers and also the Suns losing to the Clippers. What does this mean? Let's do it. Presented to you by the Birdsaw Law from the official injury lawyers of Pro Pelsock, located at 19 Poitier Street. By the Superdome, give a call at 504 523 5413 if you or someone you know has been involved in an accident. The Birdsaw Law from the official injury lawyers of Pro Pelsock. Just me and Lito tonight, 11 30 at night here in New Orleans. Wherever you may be watching, we appreciate you. Uh, y'all are true fans <laughs> of this show because it is late, late. Um, make sure you smash that like button. So, what we're going to do is, well, well, uh, a 25 30 minute show just to get something out and then um we got sacramento and gold state coming up lead over first let's start off with trey murphy force that turnover he's on the run and oh! Oh! The hole. they found him that's it oh what's up chaz chaz joined the show as well. um what did you think of that Lido? he had a really good night tonight trey murphy I mean, I, th- I, th- I think anytime that he's aggressive, I think that um, he's going to play well. And the, play- the Pels play better when he's aggressive. I tweeted I tweeted tonight uh, that if, you- if your best shooter is just going to also out-athlete everybody else, I really don't know what – you know, I don't know what else you can do. The thing with Trey is I've been saying this for as long as he's been on the team. Obviously, he was drafted as a shooter, but – once I started seeing his game, like he's more to him than being just a spot up shooter, and he should exercise those rights to do those things, um, play that type of game because, bro, he, you know, the sky's the limit for him as far as his ability. I mean, I, I saw, shit, man, I saw pocket passes to Zion in a dunker spot. I saw, you know, just getting in the lane and. I mean, he got an and one uh, floater. Um, he was really, really good tonight, and he rebounded again, which he didn't do the last game, which we we kind of we kind of talked about. Yeah, eight rebounds. So, um, Chaz, eight free throws. Yeah, so I was literally about to talk about his free throws. So, Chaz, um, over the last two months, I think he's shooting like eighty four. Or actually, I have the stat right here. Since March first, right when his mom came in the press room, I was like. <laughs> You gotta get better your free throws uh, after his, tw- I think it's twenty nine point performance against the Pacers. Since that, since that day, which was March first, he is now fifty two of sixty from the free throw line, shooting eighty seven percent. So not only is he being more aggressive, but now you're starting to see the uptick in the free throw percentage because we we know how good of a free throw shooter he is. It was just kind of like a struggle early on. I feel like now he's kind of catching his groove um, from the free throw line as well. I think it's a bit of a non-story. <laughs> What's that? Just, you know, I mean, motherfucker at the free throw line. It's like Tony Snell was like a hundred percent from the free throw line for his career. It's just like, all right, it's like okay, like Trey, Trey not. I, I never really thought he was in enough uh, situations to where his free throws really made a made or broke a game. So I was kind of like, uh, it's gonna like just go back to how it usually is at some point. You know, I, I didn't think too much of it. I'm happy. I'd rather them make them than miss them, but I didn't think too much of it. <laughs> yeah, eight free throws, eight rebounds uh, from Trey Murphy tonight. Another guy, CJ McCollum, uh, 5'10 from deep, 4 fourth from free throw line, 29 points. Um, he's starting to have a month here, Chaz, where his three point percentage is starting to uptick as well. He's, I think, shooting now 43% from deep. Um, I had this uh, of the on the month. Um, what are you seeing from him? I mean, you know, he's he's logging a lot of minutes, but I feel like yeah, his three point shot is starting to come. Man, I'm a little worried about the minutes, but what I'm seeing again, his professionalism, his um, you no know, CJ's been a, a little bit of a front runner in these few games. The way he's getting the team out to a hot start, he's one of the few guys who like he's getting off the plane ready. So um, I just uh. I'm just, I'm just happy for him. You know what I'm saying? He always puts on a show a- against uh, Portland. I-, I watched his podcast earlier today. He just seemed like he was in a good mental space mm-hmm. after that Phoenix game going into this game. And he um, he just showed up. He did his thing, man. Showed up and showed out. Uh, it was a, a competitive game early on, much like the Phoenix game. And he was there to uh, kind of get the team rolling earlier in the game. And you need his three-point uh, shot-making uh, – 
like desperately. You need it desperately. Yeah, I mean, him and Trey combined for 22 three-point attempts tonight. Um, That's crazy. I mean, and they go 10 of 22, actually, uh, mm. combined. Love it. Uh, get 11 of 36 from the three-point line, Lito. Um, once again, I know the goal is 40, but last couple of games, they've they've gotten pretty close to that um, to that 40, 40 mark, and they've won both games. And there was kind of like that stat out there today. There was a lot of back and forth, uh, but I, I don't have the stat in front of me, but I think when they shoot – 40 or more threes that are eight and two. If they shoot more than 35, they have another winning record. Um, do you think that always equates to wins is those type of three point attempts? Uh, I mean, always like 100% of anything is not certain, right. but I mean, I think you for sure have a better chance of, you have a higher chance of a winning percentage than you do. If you do not take them, um, the, the shots seem to be trending upwards back up trying to trying to get them back up over 30 um because i mean it i mean if we could just be honest they, they never go consistently hit 40 it's i mean shoot 40s it's just not gonna happen not enough shooting on the team to even do that but i i think that um i think that i mean and to be honest you ain't you ain't you ain't shoot the ball well at night but you did attempt 36 and i think that's Something to be accounted for in the in the long run, but yeah, just I think that could equal um, success uh, if you if you do take those shots. But if you if you taking them and not making them, that's also another. And you know what's so crazy? The Pelicans are always on like such a wide variety on a spectrum. It's never like, <laughs> like we, we took thirty six and we made maybe like I don't know seventeen of them. It's like yeah, we took forty two, but we made like eight and. You know what I'm saying? Like it's all good, but shout out to I them. Think, I think this is what we gotta talk. I mean, we can talk Zion's for look, look, they handle business tonight. I mean, the Blazers are just a bad team. You know, they got down the first half, they came back. But I think the most important thing about tonight, uh, I'll start with you, Chaz, because I just actually started laughing at your tweet and we were talking about it in the group chat, right? So uh Clippers without Kawhi and Harden go into Phoenix. They go up like like at one point, they're up like 38 points. Mm-hmm. Uh and Chaz. Look, man, the Clippers are on a back to back. Um, they are they both on back to back. Sorry, back-to-back. sorry. The Suns, the Sun, my yeah. bad. I'm sorry. The Suns are on a back to they're both on a back to back, right? But Suns at home, you're down 38 points, right? You're going, you're flying to LA to go play mm-hmm. the same team tomorrow. You see the Pelicans are I know people say they're not scoreboard watching. You're scoreboard watching. You clearly see that the Pelicans are beating the Blazers. Yeah, why in the hell? Why in the hell would Vogel try to just run these guys into the ground and now have to fly to LA to go beat them tomorrow? Because the Clippers got something to play for too, Chaz. Clippers yeah. like I like they gotta win one more so they can get the four seed. I think Dallas is officially the five seed. So what did you think of that? I kind of felt like the Suns were gonna lose going into this game, mainly because with the, this Suns team. They does not. They don't. They just seem like they don't take nothing serious. Like any game that you like, oh, the Suns about to go in there and stump them out. They get the dog shit beaten out of them. But any game you like, I don't know. The Suns look funny. They'll come out and win by like forty points. And this is a very right. weird team. Uh, I don't know if Vogel made that call or not, but it was a terrible call if he did make it. Considering these are this is like an aging team. And yo, I, I'm I'm gonna just be the first to say it. We, it, it's time to start taking KD out of certain conversations, bro. It it, it, it really is. And, and, and I was a big KD fan in OKC. I thought KD was incredible. KD, I don't know if he kicked a puppy or something on his way out of Golden <laughs> State, but it's time, bro. It, it's time to kick, take so, KD out of them conversations for real. So Damn, here you go. Bro. Kevin Durant. Lito, Kevin Durant, 40 minutes tonight. He went A of 22. Devin Booker, 40 minutes tonight. Goes 1 of 11 from the field. Bradley Beal, 40 minutes tonight. Goes a 6 of 13. The, the big three played a combined 120 minutes tonight and Ooh. lost. So now they stunk. They go to LA to, they go to LA tomorrow. So if the if they lose that game, um, and hopefully the Clippers play their guys or one of the one of Harden and Kawhi come back. If they play that game and lose, they're now a game and a half mm-hmm. behind the Pelicans for that six seed. So, so basically, Chaz and or Lito, basically the Pelicans just have to win what two more games. Uh, I, yeah, 
think I, I think I hey I said last time I think the Suns going three and one. So the Pelicans gotta at least go like two and two. Like the Pelicans got gotta at least like I don't know, man. It, it's an interesting thing because LeBron and them resting, and they don't the, the next two Lakers games or Memphis, which he probably yeah. can rest again, and then the Pelicans. And then you got to go to state. I, I don't know. But I don't know, man. You know, I, I I don't know if I would be too happy in the long run if, this, if the Suns ended up seventh simply because <laughs> them were looking like they're going to be third. <laughs> so if the Pelicans end up sixth and the Suns get to go play fucking OKC or somebody and we got to play Denver, I'm going to be upset. So well, who well here, here's where it gets interesting. Who owns like I wonder who owns the tiebreaker between OKC and Denver because Denver right now is a two seed. They're tied with Minnesota, so clearly the Minnesota Timberwolves have the tiebreaker over Denver. Yeah, who has imagine. the tiebreaker over Denver and OKC? Because OKC, yeah. But 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 to counter that, Chaz, right? So uh-huh. like if it stays like this now, just say it stays like this now. The Pelicans are matched up with OKC six mm. three. Say like say you win that series, you avoid mm-hmm. Denver again Ooh. and get Minnesota. Mm-hmm. Now those are, so those cat are the, coming the, cat coming back. So but the, <laughs> no, that's the thing. So it, but like Chaz, to your point, man, you want to avoid Denver by all means. So like yeah, it's you're, kind you're of crazy. <laughs> you gotta look like there's, there's so many things can change. So you know, Lito, the. The good thing, the good news for the Pelicans now is that they control their own destiny. You went out, you get the six seed. Mm. You go two and one, you chance it. I mean, you got Sacramento, you got Golden State and LA. Um, I guess what do you see for these next three games? Do you think Golden State or LA punt any of those games? Do you think Golden State or the Lakers would punt? I don't think they could Golden afford to punt. St- Golden State's a half a game behind LA now on the tiebreaker. <laughs> LA is only a half game up on Golden State, and they're only half a game behind Sacramento. So, so many things can change with one game. I don't, I don't think any of those teams can afford the point if they have postseason aspirations of any sort. Like you, you, nah. Like I think, I think they, they playing for their life right now. Um, yeah. Lakers won without AD tonight, right? They lost. No, they Lakers lost. I'm sorry, they lost. I'm sorry, they lost. Yeah, they they lost without AD. Um. Yeah, man. I don't know. I think the Pelicans. To be honest, bro, the Pelicans need to win out. Will they win out? I don't. I don't. I don't know. Because they have a, who's know. the back to back? It's at Sacramento, at Golden State. Is that right? And then they got to yeah. fly from West Coast to New Orleans, and then LA's got Memphis. LA's got all these days off. <laughs> but isn't 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 LA like a two thirty game? Yeah, but the Lakers go to Memphis. What Chaz on Friday? Yeah, I think so. So they See, got the, two, uh, they get two fucking days off, then go to Memphis, who just punted the season. Yeah, they got out. four days off because LeBron them ain't even playing. So LeBron played tonight. AD didn't play. AD's had like oh, six LeBron days off before. Play, okay. Yeah, LeBron played. Um, AD uh, did not play tonight. See, if I'm the Warriors, I just say fuck it and, and, and play to win because really the Warriors play the they play the Blazers, and that game. No, the Warriors don't. Do they have a back to back? They must. No, the Warriors don't have a back to back. The Warriors play the Blazers. Yeah, they do. They go. They go to Portland and they have to travel back and play New Orleans. Yeah, four eleven Friday at home. Yeah, and they at home, so they go to. But they go to Portland. They're gonna go to Portland and get back on on a flight and then come back. So that will help the Pelicans. The Pelicans will be already in California, uh, so like the flight is really nothing. Yeah, it could be a bus ride. Yeah, I mean, even with that, I'm saying even with the Blazers, they're going from Arizona to California. You know, ain't you know, New right? It's something crazy, right? Yeah, and then they play the Jazz on their final night. So if I'm the Warriors, I know I can go at least two and one. So, but the thing is, you know for sure that the Lakers are probably going to go two and zero oh <laughs> because they play right. uh, Memphis and then they play us. So it depends that that Pelicans game. God, that eat. last game, I know that last game of the year yeah. could be. Could really be big because the Suns have Clippers, Clippers, or I'm sorry, Clippers. Who the Suns have? The Suns have Clippers. I think the Cavs, maybe. Um, no, I'm gonna tell I'm, you, I'm they, got, they got, they got, they got the. 
They got the clip. Oh, who the Suns have? I'm sorry. Yeah, I was looking Suns at who have. the Clippers had. The Suns have they at got, LA. They got LA, Sacramento, and Timberwolves. Ooh, the Suns. And none of those, none of the, none of those teams could because the Wolves Minnesota wants the one seed. Though. The Wolves no. probably gonna rest. I don't think you don't so. think it's over, you don't think it's over bro, by the last game by Sunday, bro. Ant Ant wants the one seed. They go to Denver tomorrow, right? Yeah, what if they, if they win tomorrow, I think it's over. What if the Pels punt that game? What if the Pels punt the last game against LA? Yeah. Mm. Oh. Would you? Why would they? Oh, you know what? And the Nuggets play the Spurs because they, and because the they Grizzlies. get the six because they <laughs> if they punt because here's the thing about that the Kings can't catch up to the Pelicans because the Pelicans right. are the tiebreaker. Yeah, they can't catch up. If the I didn't think about that, Lido, because if the Suns lose one more, if the Suns lose one more, the Pelicans win one more. It's over. It's over. Yeah, right. it's over. So what if they? So, what if they? They don't even. So the Pelicans know, could technically punt. You get the. But season, they got to. But, but they got to take bro, care. But they got to take goes, care of. It right. goes back to. It goes back to avoiding Denver. If 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 Denver's a three, no, it wouldn't matter. It wouldn't matter. You're I right. think. I think tomorrow's right. game gonna tell you a lot because you got to presume those final two games, uh, probably losses for Denver because they probably just like who cares at that point? They played Memphis and they played the Spurs, so they don't give a fuck. So Denver, Denver don't care who they play, right? So no, you the Suns no. and you look at and you like, well, we just got to win one game to be the seventh seed, like in the play in. So if we play the Kings, we don't we don't care about the you know about playing the Kings. But I think the Kings have the tiebreaker with the Suns. That's that's the dude. How do you is there a website with tiebreakers? Like, there's got to be a website. With it. it goes by like areas. the division and all that. But, uh, by the way, hold on. I mean, it's 11 45 night in here in New Orleans. I think it's 12. Is it what time is it over you by chat? Is it the same time? 11 45. Jeez, it's 12 midnight over, way, way past midnight over there. Like, appreciate everyone in the chat, man. Make sure you smash the like button. Um, yeah, that's Ooh, uh the Kings. I don't know. I can't see the Kings quitting though, because if the Kings, if they beat us, right, then they play, play the us. Suns. Yeah. Then they play the Suns. They, they probably playing the Suns for real. Because that's that's probably gonna be, you know, and they probably don't give a fuck yeah. about the Blazers. It, it's so much you just gotta presume that the Lakers are going to beat Memphis. And once you presume the Lakers are going to be Memphis, everything else kind of falls into place. I don't think the Lakers care who they went, who they play either. Chaz, do we know who has the tiebreaker between the Lakers and Kings? I think the Kings got it. You know what? Let me look that up. Because that, that... I'm pretty sure the Kings got the tiebreaker over Phoenix and the Lakers. I'm pretty sure. I just... So if it's right now, do you like the first round matchup? We'll start Lido. Like if, if, if it stays now, Pelicans versus Thunder. Do you Ooh. like that first round matchup? I think I think that's probably a better match. I mean, so look, if I had to pick between the Thunder and, and the Nuggets, yeah, I, I I think that's a way better matchup than the Nuggets. I, I was in I was hoping to play um Minnesota, but um Why? Does cat not, does cat coming back not scare you at all? I, I think Minnesota's a tough. I mean, look, they're, they're all really good teams, but like, I think Minnesota's a tough matchup. I think Minnesota's. I think Minnesota's a tough match. I mean, they got a superstar, so it's always gonna be a, t- <laughs> a yeah. tough matchup. But yeah, two of them bitches if cat come back. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But I think um I think it's ways you can neutralize cat. Like you you saw you saw before they put herb on him and it, it made his life a little bit more difficult. I will say Cat has been posting up more this year than he has in the past. He he hasn't really relied on a three point line. And I guess kudos to him for trying to, you know, trying to piece his game with Ant's game. Can but I, I say something real quick? Yeah. Leader? Because yeah. with Cat coming back, because look, man, I, I know he he's he was playing otherworldly. He was doing great. But look, you you take off a month and you got a knee injury, and you know, it it, it it's gonna take some time to like That's get back in the rhythm. That's so, what I'm saying. It's an interesting conversation to have. Like I, I thought about this today. We're like, could you imagine? They're like, you know what, Cat? We like how things are flowing right now. Why don't you come up to you you on the second unit? Can you imagine Cat with Larry Nance on him in a post? Give it a ball. So that's another thing because they could just say, you know what? Well, fuck it. We're gonna leave it exactly how it is. 
and we go play. <laughs> we go front cat off the bench. <laughs> I, I honestly, I read the only reason I ran to play mini is because I've seen us beat them before. I don't. I don't really want to play OKC because every but bro, time I think play, we match up. I think we match up well with OKC. I think we no, can play. But here's it. the thing, though, Justin. Here's why I don't. We've been down twenty in three games versus OKC. The first game, Shea got hurt. Right. The last game, we should have fucking won, but we didn't. That was, I know and that was. A, the, oh. That's the one, bro. Oh. That just uh, that sec that second game. I don't know. Like I just saw bro. Shea. Shea got forty tonight on his first game back, oh, bro. He's a, <laughs> like, he's know. so he's crazy. But like, here's the thing though, Chance. I was thinking about this. Like the reason why we put that five point lead. Like I honestly think Brandon made it would make a difference, and that was like kind of leading my next point. I, I hit y'all in the chat tonight. Like I think Brandon's got a. Like I feel like Brandon. You know, he. he I think they just reported he played one on one today. Like. I hope he gets a game in before the playoffs or a playing game because I was talking to y'all, Lito. I don't know, like it goes back to the cap thing. Like, of course, I want him, like if he's available to play, he's gonna play. But do you worry about like finding rhythm like in a playoff Absolutely. game? He didn't like have finding a rhythm. rhythm in a playoff game is but like he, have, he didn't have a rhythm before he went out. So I'm absolutely worried about him finding a rhythm in the playoffs. So do you think he so it, it goes back to us like okay well if we punt the LA game like would you still want to see Brandon out there? I think he got to get a he got to get I mean I'm not I'm not saying he got to get 30 minutes but I'm saying he and he should get he should get time in the game before the playoffs come for real yeah like I I don't I don't even I don't even see how you um We'll move forward with him in the playoffs without, and I, I'm not just saying that for Brandon. I'm saying that it could be CJ, it could be Zion, it, it, it could be. I mean, it could be Cat. That's what I'm talking about with the Cat thing, man. Like, so Cat was full participant what yesterday in practice, so I think he'll play tomorrow or the next day. Mm-hmm. So he'll only get one or two games in too. I mean, look at B, 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 B balling though. But like, you know what I'm saying? Like, look, <laughs> that was probably a bad example. He, he a dude that's so used to missing games, though. He kind of like. <laughs> <laughs> no. I know what to do. I know what to do when I come back. I know how to get back. My, my only thing with like, do we, if he just now playing one on one, right? Do we think like physically, do you, we think he like at a point to where he can ramp up that fast and get to like a full scrimmage? Do, do we think he's back by LA? Man, it's such a good question, right? When is LA Brandon, Sunday, right? The final game yeah, of the season Sunday? Yeah. I've seen we Brandon. Made it! We did it. <laughs> I know. We really did. <laughs> uh, unbelievable job by all of y'all. But Brandon, <laughs> I saw Brandon on the jog on the treadmill. Um last couple practices, the one-on-one thing. He's moving pretty well. You know, he's getting some shots up, but you know, practicing games are two completely different things. So totally yeah. different. you know, I do worry about that, but like I personally think he needs to get a um at least one game in. So my dog's hoping for uh, the next game. At least two, I ain't going to lie. Two, I, I would do two, but if you at least get one game in. So this is why I thought about this. This will be the last point when I'll get the DraftKings. If you get a game in now and you avoid the play, if you get the game in against the Lakers and you avoid the play in, that gives you about four days, right? Four or five days before Something your like- next game. So you could get two or three runs in with the coaching staff or, and other players, get yourself a little bit better endurance and possibly, I'm not saying he's going to be in tip-top shape, but, mm-hmm. you know, I think he can get in. Mean, he's, he's already in shape, so yeah. we'll oh, see. Um, what he, what he, miss, he missed a, not even a month, right? Like nah, he missed, he's, he missed like two and a half. Yeah, I don't really think yeah. it's about he's the shape. Weights. I mean, he's yeah. on the treadmill, so. Yeah. Let me get, let me get this DraftKings uh, – Read in for a minute. Make sure I'll smash the like button. We'll answer questions in like about 15 minutes. We'll get out of here. The NBA season is in full swing. And when I can't get enough of the action on the court, I spice things up by betting on DraftKings Sportsbook, an official sports betting partner of the NBA. Right now, new customers can bet five bucks and get $150 instantly in bonus bets. Download the DraftKings Sportsbook app and use code BOOT. New customers can bet five bucks to get $150 instantly in bonus bets. Only at DraftKings Sportsbook with code BOOT. The crown 
is yours. Gambling problem? Call 1-800-GAMBLER or visit 1-800-GAMBLER.net. In New York, call 877-8-HOPE-NY or text HOPE-NY-467-369. In Connecticut, help is available for problem gambling. Call 888-789-7777 or visit ccpg.org. Please play responsibly. On behalf of Boot Hill Casino and Resort in Kansas, 21 and over, age varies by jurisdiction. Void in Ontario. Bonus bets expire 168 hours after issuance. See dkng.com slash promos for eligibility and deposit restrictions, terms, and responsible gaming resources. Also presented to you by Company Berry, located at 4600 for Red Street. So about 10 more minutes, we'll do like fan questions. Um, let's go through some right now. So Shout out to everybody in here, man. It's 200. I know, for people. real. 257 people in here. You're like, appreciate really, y'all. for real. Appreciate y'all. Uh, so no, Spo, they've played at, they're actually going to play three games in four nights. And yeah. they just exerted all, I mean, all play all the big three played 40 minutes. So that's pretty kind of kind of crazy. crazy. Um so three's chance according to Christian Clark to API. I was only doing warm-ups, one well, activities I wouldn't expect. Yeah, that's I dope. mean, I mean it's a it's a good point. Like how quick can you ramp up from whoever wants to go first? Like how quick can you can you ramp up from one to one on one, three on three to five on five to a game in four days? Can he possibly well, skip it, maybe? Could you possibly skip that? I mean, Brandon's like you really could at this, at this stage, like with with these, with with, with at these, with what's on the line right now, you probably could see him skip it. But you know, traditionally, you got you got to play the coaches, you got to play the scout, right. you know, you gotta right. you gotta do all kind of shit. So if he gonna be skipping, if he's not gonna, he either gonna come back and play on that second night of that back to back against the so Warriors in Golden State, yeah, in Golden State, or. He or he gonna be scrimmaging with JRE somewhere. I got Like, <laughs> I have a question. This could be kind of a lead out. Interested in your thoughts? Like, okay, so we parts of like you go one one on one, three on three, then five on five. You build your way back, right? Well, this is the end of the year. Things are playoffs are here. Like, mm-hmm. if he goes from one on one, would you maybe possibly get Brandon off the bench? I'm talking about Golden State for like 15 minutes, like kind of. Not just throw him into the fire and starting, you know, where Golden State's playing a playoff atmosphere, like kind of build him up. Could he possibly come off the bench for 10 or 12 minutes, build his way up at Golden State, and then LA start and kind of get back in a rhythm? Do you think that's a possibility at all? I mean, I don't see a problem with that. I, I I hope he doesn't see a problem with that. You know what I'm saying? Like it's not, you know, it's 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 because the jump from one on one to all right, buddy, you're gonna go play against the Kings or you're gonna play against the Warriors, like it's a, it's a major jump. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, yeah. I think um I think uh I think you probably see the same thing like like Taz was saying with uh the Wolves with Cat. I can see Cat coming off the bench. You know what I'm saying? Like it's 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 a minute it's a minutes restriction and he doesn't have a they they don't have a lot to play for right now, so he probably will come off the bench. I think Brandon should um agree to do the same thing. Like just go ahead and, and, and get your reps in, especially getting your reps in against a second unit. Which you know, like you don't have to exert right. much energy. Like he's probably he's better than those guys, uh, depending on you know. Well, I mean, he, yeah, I'm gonna say he's better than those guys. I was about to say depending on what team you play, because you know, you know how NBA teams go. Like sometimes they scat, they uh, stagger minutes, but um, he's, but also he's he can be, be the focal point in the offense too, right? He can get his shots up. He can instead of right, like worrying right. about getting the best shot, right? He can like they run the offense through Brandon, right? Brandon, you're the guy. Get your shots up. Get your rhythm up. But I don't know. You think that's a possibility, Chaz? Um, to, to Dallas's point and your question, that that's an interesting thing because it's like on one end you're like, won't you? You could just wait until you're a hundred percent, right? And on the other end, it's like, well, if you drop Bi in the game, let's say he's starting, right? Let's say you're stagging rotations or whatever you're doing. It's kind of like, ooh, what does that do to? It ain't like you got this fucking mind blowing chemistry right now, but what does that do to? You know what's already working, and that's something I'm thinking about because you, I, I don't know, man. I, I don't, I don't know because I, I think I've been. If you look at the three point attempts again tonight, I think I've been pretty vocal saying you, Brandon is he, he is indeed a playoff player. Like for a slow, methodical, isolated, every bucket counts, gets to his spots. He's a playoff guy. I wonder if you can afford to drop him in 
the starting unit at this point anyway. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, moving mm-hmm. forward, I think I, if I'm a coach, which I fucking ain't, but <laughs> – <laughs> but Coach Matt, you are. <laughs> but if, I, if I, but if I, if I were, if I were Coach Green, let's just say I'm Coach Blue. If I were Coach Blue, I would say, Nah, I'm gonna see how you adjust to what I've already been doing with Trey in the starting lineup. And if you fuck over me with that, then I got like, Oh, you ain't gonna see this one. And then I, I throw Brandon back in the starting lineup, and that's just like, like a yo, I'm man throwing everything. Yeah. yeah, I'm throwing everything at the wall at this point. <laughs> I see what you're saying there. I, I, I just worry, man. Like, and there have been a couple comments, like right here, Tommy Jones. Like, Brandon needs to take his time. He may be able to play against the Lakers. You don't want to rush him back. It, it's take a very time. interesting. It's a tough decision because they obviously want to get him in some in-game reps. And yes, you can say if we get the six seed, well, he can he can scrimmage five on five. But scrimmaging five on five against coaches and then your first game back in a month is a fucking playoff game. That is a huge difference. So I like to see him back against the Lakers, but also I don't want to see him rush back, maybe injure himself further. So you're going to need him in the playoffs, no doubt I, about it. I, I just worry about that. that that's all, you know. I would say um, a hyperextension is kind of a serious deal anyway. You know what I'm saying? Like you just yeah. never really you never really know them because um, it could go either way. Uh, you know, sp- sprain is it? A, a sprain is a, is a minor tear anyway, right? So just keep that in mind. I know, yeah. It's... Can, I, can, I, can I ask y'all this? Because I don't know we really spoke about it in depth. Do y'all, I me, it, it, we saw the injury. It, it looked fucked up. And bone contusions, they, they can be serious. That shit can be serious. Like a bone bruise is, is some shit. Y- y'all think he like like really like fucked up bad fucked up because I ain't gonna lie I kind of thought he'd be back by now. I, like well, when I heard they, them say because I remember it was we, since two weeks right they they would be reevaluated or whatever yeah, it was. Yeah. Be, this this have gotta be what, week three. Yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, I don't know, man. Like you just don't know like with those injuries, like they. Yeah. Who knows? Like the it was. A, it was a, I'll tell you this much. It looked bad. It, 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 it yeah. was, it was, now. I really thought like when we got that news, like that's definitely best case scenario. I thought it was worst case scenario. So, uh, Lito, what's y'all's record prediction for the next three games? So at Sacramento, at Golden State versus Lakers. Sacramento looked like they don't give a shit. Like they, they look <sighs> like, I don't know. Um, I'm going to say two and one. Okay. What are the wins against? Sacramento, Golden State. I'm thinking that I'm really. I'm, I'm saying they punt the Lakers game. Now that you said that, I I kind of agree with you, Chaz. What do you think? Next three. I think. Shout out to Danny Floyd. Appreciate you. Appreciate you, Danny. I hope you don't take your money back after this, Danny. But what did I miss? Oh, I appreciate think you, Danny. If, if everyone plays, if no, if the Lakers don't punt, if what's the, what's the name? If Golden State don't punt. <laughs> I, I think uh, I think you might go or three. I ain't gonna lie, because <laughs> yo, nah, I think you you beat Sacramento for no, sure. I, all the reason I say that though is because I'm looking at CJ, bro. It's I'm like I'm tired of you playing all these minutes, dog. And like it's I'm I'm worried about it. And like it was a it, it CJ and Trey had masterful games. Mm-hmm. In every Kings loss I've seen, dog, it they've been heartbreakers. Like at the end of the game, some weird shit happens. And I don't know, man. That 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 Kings team, they at home, they got something to prove. Brandon not, you know, the one who Brandon really the main one who was like busting the ass until Brandon not out there. They they gonna they gonna they gonna come out swinging for real. Like I, I think that's gonna be a dangerous game, bro. That Kings game. I, I really do. Kings will come out. Um I, I actually yeah, I think I don't think three and oh. Um I actually think it's two and one. I think they beat I think they beat Sacramento and I think they beat LA. I think they're going to play LA full. I think LA is like, I don't know. I I think they're done. Like LeBron doing all that. Wait, LA who? The Lakers? The Lakers. Yeah. You yeah, think they're yeah. done think. for like they're finished or done like they don't give a fuck? Like, I don't think they give a fuck. Like, I, I really don't. I think, I think 80's got a con- 80, Like, here's the thing. Like, 80's like nauseous. Like, he's got a concussion. 80's got a concussion. They just don't want to label yeah, it. He's got a headache right. and, he's, and he's nauseous. Like, what are we doing here? 80's got a concussion. LeBron is 
he's coming back from the flu. Like his ankle's been fucked up for two years now. Like you can just kind of tell, man. Like I, I don't think they got it. I really don't. Uh, they're gonna get to that last game of the year, and I don't um, think well, I don't think they're gonna be able to to I'm gain not, any. Pl- I'm not coming I mean, out. I think no, LeBron I too. <laughs> I think it's LeBron. I ain't gonna lie, Justin. I, that crossed my mind too. Like this <laughs> motherfucker gotta fall off at some point. But it's like it's LeBron. It's the NBA, you know. You kind of, yeah. you know. I, I don't we'll know. We'll see. Uh, I don't know. Uh, the Golden State game is interesting too. I think. Gosh, he's an AD pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> I actually saw that. So, uh, Danny, appreciate the uh, super chat. Lito, let you have this one. We'll get out of here in uh, about five minutes. You also feel like he was out to prove a point with every minute he got tonight. You know, I don't know. Listen, I don't know why he has to feel like that. Uh, I mean, like, I think Jonas played. I think Jonas played well at night. I think he played good enough to prove that he should get minutes, specifically minutes in the playoffs. Um, Jonas had a, Jonas had a very good pass to Jose, who made a highly intelligent cut down the center of the floor uh, when it was spaced out, and Jose got a layup. Um, I, you watched the player tonight, uh, in my opinion, in in. Um, DeAndre Aiden, uh, who proved my point about why you should double players. Like, and and AD said this on a broadcast. It's not that you're doubling them so they won't score, but you don't know how they will handle the double. It usually like it ends up in a turnover. Um, I'm saying that to say when Jonas is double, what's up, Jake? When Jonas is doubled out of the post, Jonas makes really good decisions with the basketball for the for, for the most part. Um he missed a bunch of easy shots tonight, and you know I'm, I'm pretty sure if he was in the rhythm of playing, I think he might have made those. Um, but hey, look, you, you can't win them all. I'm, I'm glad he did get some minutes, but you know, hopefully going forward, like the team, this team will see that you got to use him in the playoffs, though. Like that's the only way you go succeed eventually. Can, can, can I, eventually. Can I show one last question? I was going this. I have one question for you, but go ahead, Chaz. Oh, I was just about to say, does this Phoenix victory or the, that past Phoenix victory we had, what was that, Sunday? Did, did that buy enough goodwill with you to where you feel like, well, if we end up seventh, fuck, it is what it is. Because you went out there, you won that Phoenix game, and I, at least I know you took it serious down the stretch. Does that buy enough goodwill with you, no matter how the season ends at this point? Oh, no, I mean... You can't lose the Spurs. I mean, that, that, like, I'm. I mean, no, I mean, uh, not, not, I'm talking this time. I'm just moving forward. Just moving forward. Like, no, I mean, I would like. We still have three. I think you have three meaningful games left. They have a playoff series. Like that. That's where I'm at. I don't give a fuck about that. Like they need to make the playoffs. Mm-hmm. Like, even if they get the seven seed, even if they get the seven seed, they need to make the playoffs. Okay, right. I don't even like. I don't care. Like my expectations are the playoffs. Okay, mm-hmm. that's where we're at here. If they don't make the playoffs, I consider it a failure. I, I, I really I mean that's back to back years. You miss the playoffs. You've had a relatively healthy team. I know it's been a stacked West this year. I'm not here for the excuses. I think you gotta make the playoffs. Um Lito, you think if you seventh seed, did, did that Suns game get you enough goodwill? I think you got I'm I'm with Justin. Like I think I think I'm not buying it from what like what the national media says because they, I feel like they. Did you see what they, Stephen A. Smith said last like, yes. like about Quentin Grimes? Yeah, no, they were good. <laughs> guys, you didn't see that? Sorry, go ahead. No, no. no they was Sorry. they 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 be gassing, they be gassing. Um, but I think um, for me, just as a fan of the team, as a person who corresponds about the team, I think that like for me to say improvement, got to stay out of playing. Like that'll be a successful season for me. I, I said it was um making it to the second round of the playoffs. And for me, in order to do that, I think you got to stay out of the plan. So yeah. like I appreciate the goodwill of winning the game, but it was a yeah. it was a bunch of it was a bunch of hiccups along the way where you didn't really need to even be here. Right. Yeah. No, that's totally fair. Um, last question. I want to give this to you, Chaz. Uh does anyone know what happened with Najee? I don't think we're sh- I, don't, I haven't heard anything. I heard Did he kill the injury? Yeah, I, what, what, uh, I don't think they're shutting them down, huh? I mean, I, I mean, I, I, I don't, I didn't even see the injury. That's what I'm saying. I haven't heard. <laughs> it was, I don't think it was, it was definitely left because of a shoulder. Like I don't know. I don't want to misquote it. Um, 
Here, let me look it up. Maybe they pulling the 76ers. What's the 76? Keep, <laughs> keeping them off oh. the injury report. Oh, <laughs> like, so, what, oh yeah. I said, uh, uh, Chaz, so um, Stephen A. Smith yesterday went on mm-hmm. a show or whatever and said, <laughs> he said, like, Quentin Grimes is playing incredible. Uh, I see a Hardenstein, you know, he's a reserve playing well. Mitchell Robinson, and, and everyone's like, Stephen A., Quentin Grimes plays for the Detroit, Detroit Pistons and hasn't played since like March 13th. I mean, seriously, like, how do you go? Like, that's insane to me. That <laughs> is, your, you, home home you said insane. And that, that's insane. And that's your home team. So, uh, the Dodgy Marshall update is he didn't return after suffering a right shoulder injury. Um, that's all we really have, though. Um, it says left. Oh, sorry. It says left shoulder contusion. So I don't think he shut down the season, Donald. Um, and Tommy, yeah, he is hurt with the shoulder. So, man, we can't appreciate y'all, man. Like enough. Uh, two hundred seventy-five people in here. Make sure y'all smash the like button. It's really late. Uh, we're gonna get some rest. We'll be back. Today's sure. what Tuesday. We'll be back Thursday against the Kings and Friday against the Warriors and the Sunday finale against the Lakers. It's almost over. Shout out, shout out to all of y'all, Chris Connor. Chaz, Lido, Five, and Ross, man. Y'all, we've done 79 out of 82 recaps. Shout out to all the fans that always show up, whether you agree, disagree, like it, love it. We always appreciate y'all, man. Um, Lido, five seconds. Go ahead. Man, um, I got five seconds of sleep, man. <laughs> I don't need to have that. <laughs> I'm tired. Smash that like button. We'll see y'all later.